Hey everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. It really does help the channel out. You're also able to go back and look at all the videos that I've done in the past. If you're already a subscriber, you guys know I do appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason I'm able to do these these videos here. Uh, very much appreciate you guys. If you hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions. I get back to all my comments as soon as I possibly can. All right, this video here is going to be a little shorter than I originally wanted, and I'll explain that as the video goes on. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do exactly what I wanted in this video, but uh, if you've been following me, you know that my family, we cut the cord about a year ago. Uh, do not miss cable at all. I have not missed it at all. It's just such a drain of money, cable TV. Uh, we've actually raised our internet we have gigabit internet service where i'm getting almost 800 gigabits download and pretty six to eight hundred six to eight hundred uh megaboards up and our bill is a third of what it was with a lower uh internet speed and cable so financially it's well worth it the only issue that I do have is I watch over the air TV rather than through cable. And to be honest, the picture and the sound is much better on HD channels. Uh, but what I did was I didn't want to go out and spend the money on a good antenna just in case my family did not like cutting the cord and we went back to cable. So I've gotten actually really lucky. I used an RCA indoor antenna. If you check out here up here, uh, this was a video of me unboxing it. This is an indoor antenna that I screwed onto my deck just to be able to get the channels in that I wanted to. Uh, I've used it now for almost six months out there. Not that good of an antenna, but it's worked. The issue I'm having right now is we are staying with cutting the cables or cutting the cord, I should say, and I need a better antenna. So what I did was I did some research. There's some really good YouTube channels out there that explain the antennas, how you want to set them up, what you need for different things. So what I did was I invested Antenna Direct. It seems to be the best low-end antennas. I didn't want to have to install something on my roof. Uh, not yet anyway. Uh, I can't install on the roof because I can't do the ladder. Uh, so what I invested in was this here. It's in uh, Antennas Direct. It's indoor and outdoor. Uh, this is good for up to 70 miles. Uh, has both UHF and VHF capabilities. It's something that you need to really check if you're going to get an antenna. Uh, this is the Clearstream 4V and it comes with the mount so that I can mount it outside. My plan for this video was to put the antenna together and mount it where I have the RCA antenna. If you see, watch right here, you'll see where I have the antenna outside right now. The only problem is, is I want to get this antenna together tonight we have a hurricane coming into New England. Uh, hurricane uh, Henri is supposed to hit here in another day and a half. Uh, it looks like we're going to get about 100 mile an hour winds. Uh, not going to put the antenna up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together and I will set it up indoors. And I will compare the signal strength with the outdoor RCA antenna which is actually an indoor antenna that shouldn't be outside. I am so surprised that I haven't fried that thing yet. And what I'll do is I'll show you my setup because I don't run the antenna directly to my TVs. I actually use a network uh, capture card and I stream it through my internal network here at the house so we can watch TV on any channel. I'll show it to you. It's complicated, but it's easy. If you ever decide to do it, it makes it really nice. 
Uh, with this here, I have DVR capabilities. Uh, if I was just to stream the antenna right to uh, the TV, I would have to buy a separate box to do a DVR. And there are costs with that, which I didn't want to have to do. So, all right, guys, what I'm going to show you here is a quick uh, demonstration of uh, how I have my over-the-air TV set up. Right now, I have the RCA antenna that I showed you outside. Uh, it comes down, comes in through my window here. And this coax is normally hidden, but because I'm working on it right now, it's out. Goes up into my hanging ceiling and comes down over here. Uh, which in turn connects to an HD Home Run Quattro. Uh, I think it's called a video encoder. And what that does is it brings in the over-the-air signals from the antenna converts them to, so that they can be seen on computers. Uh, what I have is the network cable here that goes into my network switch, which in turn allows me to view all the over-the-air channels on my computers in the house and on my smart TVs. So it allows us to have TV in any room. Uh, a lot better than having to run the coax through the house to attach to the back of the TV and such. Uh, I'm not sure whether I lose anything by doing it. I don't think I do. Uh, TV picture is great with the over the air this way. But that's the network that I have right now. I also have a Synology uh, NAS, which I use as a DVR. So everything's recorded into that NAS uh, through the switches and it comes in the router is in another room so that's basically how my network is set up right now probably could be a heck of a lot better i'm not a network engineer so that's the best that i can do and it works pretty well for my family uh so like i said that's the setup of how i watch over the air tv throughout my house why don't we open this box up and let's put the antenna together let's see if it does better indoors than the indoor RCA antenna outdoors. Okay, that yeah, that makes sense, but let's go over, let's put this puppy together. All right, so this is the box. Indoor, outdoor, HD antenna. It's uh, by Antennas Direct, Clearstream 4V with the mount. The mount is important. If you're looking for an antenna that you wanna put up outside, Make sure the mount, because they can get really, really expensive. Uh, supposed to have a 70 mile range, which is all the channels that I want to get are well within that. Uh, 70 mile plus range, it depends on the terrain. If you're in a mountainous area, if you live in a valley, you, you're not going to get 70 miles. Uh, that's 70 miles direct sight. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's multi-directional. Uh, Full 180, uh, HD 180, all antennas are. Lifetime warranty on it. Supposed to be ready for over the UHD 4K. Uh, none of the channels in my area are broadcasting 4K, and I don't have a 4K TV, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it says it's very easy to install, plug into your TV, scan for channels, watch TV. For me, the difference is, is I won't be plugging into my TV, I'll be plugging it into my HD home run uh, video capture box. I'll show you that in, in a few minutes. But it says that, you know, it shows all the channels. You have to have these channels in your area and they have to be in the broadcast area, obviously. So, uh, coaxial cable not included. They did not say that. Luckily, I am a pack rat and I have coaxial cable. So, you say we open this puppy up. All right, let's get out the knife. Let's cut the plastic. Right. Put this back down. I'm going to turn it around here. So I'm opening to you guys so you can see what's in the box. Of course, I didn't cut the tape along the side. I think if I ever come back in another lifetime, I am going to invest in a tape company because with all the Amazon shipping and online shipping, packing tape, oh my God. So we'll open it up. 
Make sure the box will stay open here. And we got one of the, I believe that's VHF. No, these are you. No, these are. Yeah, these are for VHF. These are for UHF. So let's put these back here. Open this up. Okay. Got an ad from Cozy TV. Okay. And there's several channels in my area that broadcast Cozy TV. Cozy TV, not Kobe TV. So let's check on this. If this is the instructions, yes, it is, on how to put it together. Seeing it, it doesn't look too difficult. The only problem is that I don't have too much room on this bench here. So you may hear some nice, not so nice words bleeped out here. But what we're going to do is take the stuff out. I said. Those are the main antennas. We've got a bracket. This is to mount onto the house. This goes on the back half, opens up. It's also a mount. I'm 100% sure the coax. So I'm going to have to find my coax cable. I th oh, it does come with a little bit. Okay. Which is fine because I, I have coax that I can connect to. This is going to connect to the antenna itself. These connect onto the wireframe. That's the mounting pole. Brackets, screws, and miscellaneous. And then these go behind to help catch the signal. You know what, guys? This is going to take me forever to put together. I will get back to you guys once it's together. All right, everyone. It took me about 25 minutes to put this thing together. Uh, really wasn't too difficult. The instructions were horrible. I ended up having to go on YouTube and watch a video. Once I watched the video, it was, it was fairly easy. Uh, I'm going to have to straighten out a few things before I put it outside the house, but like I said, we're in a hurricane in about 36 hours, so this is going to go inside. Uh, I'm going to unhook the RCA indoor antenna that I have outside, and I'm going to plug it into this. Let's see how it does. So we'll go over to the computer and do the scan on it. All right, everyone. So what I'm going to do here is we are going to check out the signal strength of uh, the local channels that I have. Uh, kind of a process here on the Mac, so bear with me on this. The first channel we're going to look at is WGBH. It's the PBS station out of Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, so WGBH is channel two in Boston. It is the PBS PBS station, or one of the PBS stations in Boston. They have two that I know of. Their transmitter is located in Needham, Massachusetts, which is roughly 31 miles from where I live right now. Uh, right now, like I said, I, I have that cheap um, RCA indoor antenna outside. I'm surprised that it has lasted as long as it has out there, because it's not rated for outdoor uh, but let's see, right now, signal, signal strength that I'm getting, it's actually not too bad for the distance with a cheap antenna. It's 57%, and the signal quality is 67%. All right, the next channel we're going to check is WJAR, um, which is Channel 10 in Providence. It's the local NBC affiliate. This is the closest channel to me. It, the transmitter is about 13 miles from where I'm located. Uh, we'll go in here. This is the picture that I get for uh, channel 10, or uh, it's 10.1. Uh, so let's refresh this screen. Okay, NBC 10.1. Frequency is 50. Excuse me, 539 megahertz. 
it is a signal quality of 84 percent so i'm getting a really good signal from them right now all right so what i'm going to do now is my coaxial comes in this window right over here uh, behind this desk i'm going to try and see if it will fit right over here on this wall in front of the air conditioner like i said it's just temporary right now that i'm putting it here waiting for the storm to go by but i'll unhook the coax plug it into the new antenna and then i'm going to run a scan on the computer let's see if i get more channels i don't think i'm going to get any more channels i just want a stronger connection to them so let me bring the antenna over here and we'll hook it up it's wider than i thought <laughs> so it's not going to fit where i thought i wanted where i thought it was going to go but it's over to the side over here let me hook up the coax it's not pointing in the right direction so i'm not sure it's going to pull up the channels that i thought it was going to pull up so <sighs> let's try this we're back out. over here and again these are the channels that were with the rca antenna that was outside by rights once i mount this outside in a couple of days i should get more channels because i am in a basement yeah it's not not probably going to be as good so let's take a look and let's see what we got here let's detect channels like i said we have what okay currently there are 39 channels being picked up so let's see hopefully this works hopefully i'm not upset by this okay so there's a lot less channels i kind of expected that with it being inside well let's see how the picture how everything comes in up to channel 10 see what sound what the sound sounds like all right it's a pretty good picture all right so what i did was i turned the antenna facing the southeast like i said it's still inside so it's probably still not going to work uh what we'll do is let's check the tuner status right now nothing is in use let's go back to channel lineup like i said we lost a lot of channels compared to the outdoor antenna um but let's take a peek here let's scan for some more channels see if me turning it to the side helps oh we picked up two of these 5000 and 5001 not sure what those channels are still not any better Okay, tuner status. Okay, this is WFXT in Boston. Okay, so tuna zero, FXT. Yeah, signal strength is a much better. Okay, so let's go back over here. Can't look at 12 because it's not showing up. Let's take a look and see how strong I'm getting WJR channel 10 in. Okay, let's go back over here. Check out Tuna One, probably. No nope, summary. Tuna Zero. One hundred percent signal quality. Eighty-five percent signal strength. Oh yeah. Okay, so being in the house is causing a problem. Yeah, I can't put it outside now with the storm coming. But look at this. One hundred percent. Let me go over here. I think channel. C Six was the other one that I checked. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, that looks pretty good. WLNE, that's out of New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's considered Providence, but it's the tuner is actually in New Bedford. 93% with a 79% signal strength. That's incredible. Wow. All right, that's a lot better. That's what I want. And once I put the, the antenna outside and elevated a little bit it's gonna get i'm gonna get more channels and i'm happy i'm just gonna have to wait a couple of days before i can hook it up but i'm happy all right everyone i'm gonna end this video right here this is part one of the antenna i still have to mount it outside uh the problem i'm having like i've said several times is we have a hurricane coming uh, i don't want to mount it and have it get ripped off the house it looks like it could be a pretty strong hurricane that we are getting here in southern new england so i'm gonna wait uh, i was gonna try to temporarily mount it a little bit low where i could take it off tomorrow but uh, yeah I, i've learned that uh, when i get impatient i tend to break things so i am holding off for right now 
So that's going to be the end of this video. I will be making a part two of this video when I mount it outside. Uh, again, it's only going to be a temporary mount outside because I want to make sure that it works properly. Uh, and if that does work, then I'll do probably a part three when I mount it up on the house. Uh, so that I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do because I'll have to get up on a ladder to do it. And I don't do well on ladders, so we'll see on that. But in any case, uh, yeah, this was the unboxing and the basic setup. I showed you how um, my network works and yeah, it's a little different than most, but you know, it works for my family. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. It really does help the channel out. If you're already a subscriber, you guys know, like I said, I appreciate you guys so much. Hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification anytime that I put up a new video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll be finishing up this video probably sometime around midweek once. Hopefully we don't lose electricity. And once we do get the electricity back, if we do lose it. So... Wish us luck. Uh, we got a big storm heading up here into southern New England. <sighs> hopefully, it, hopefully it passes us by. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon. <laughs>